guys thank you for tuning in in today's video we are going to do production of jig and in production of jig we need our five materials five chemicals in producing this jig hi guys thank you for tuning in in today's video we want to produce 10 liters of bleach which we always call jig and i'll write out the materials we need these are the materials we need in producing this jig and the cost of the materials is 1115 and the quantity is 10 liters what and what do we need we need chlorine that is the first thing which we call calcium hydrochloride we, we need 700 gram we need our caustic soda 250 gram we need our soda ash dense 250 gram we need sodium sulfate 250 gram and we also need our waters this is the measurement and this is the cost of the materials we need we don't buy water we only cost our own chlorine our caustic soda our soda hash and our sulfate that is what costs us 1015 1115 we want to go into the production process now this is the scale that we want to use this is kitchen scale and today i want to show you how to use the scale when you on the scale you will have zero as it is now so whatever you want to use as a measurement like now i want to put this plate on it it gives me some measurements in gram you will know if it is if it is in gram because there is one arrow there and that arrow is pointing at g that is in what in gram so now you will tear this tear you know tear that means the weight of this plate is removed that is what it means you have removed the weight of this plate all what you want now is the weight of the content inside the plate this is how to use the scale now i want to put the caustic soda inside i already have my caustic soda inside this thing and i want to put it inside this uh, place to get the measurements i'll be looking at the measurement the caustic soda that i need is 250 and this is just one thing that is i need i'll add more caustic soda i'll add more caustic soda until we arrive at 250 i'm adding more now i'm in 197 This is what? 252. So what I will do now is to remove small from it. We have 251. I remove again 250. This is what I want. For the sake of the video, this is my caustic soda. I will measure my chlorine the same way. I will measure my soda ash the same way. And I'll measure my sodium sulfate the same way I measure this thing using this scale like this. As you can see now, this is the chlorine and it's exactly what? 700 gram. You can see it now. It's exactly 700 gram. My water, the water is 10 liters. I use this calibrated bucket and if the water is exactly you can see you can see 12 here you can see the next digit which is 11 but you cannot see the 12 because the water is at the level of the 12 number and use a calibrated bucket 
This is how to know that yes, you have a good measurement. I'll pour the water into my mixing bucket, and this is my mixing bucket. I'll pour it here. Now, I'll pour my chlorine inside. I'll pour my chlorine inside and see. I'll pour my caustic inside. I'm using the stainless because caustic don't react with the stainless. Then I'll measure my other things I need. I'll measure it now. But I'll have to stir this one very well. Sit now. This is my chlorine. 250. I'll pour it inside the mixture here. I'll pour it inside. I want to measure my soda ash now. So I'm collecting from it. Because I need 250. I'm having 250 gram now. I will now pour the soda hash inside the 10 liters of water. So, all these chemicals is what I'm mixing together now. All these chemicals is what I'm mixing together to give us what? Bleach. This is a uh, bleach. You can see the outcome now. What you do now is to filter it and package it. How do you filter it? I want to show you now. You see the future cloth now. You want to filter it. This whitish one, you use it to do to wash the back of your pot at Vim. You can see it, but. I use it to wash the back of my pot, and I can use it to, in the bathroom. Can use it to wash the towels. You can see it now. It's just whitish because of the when I solve it, I sieve it. The whitish particles just go inside, but after some minutes, it will purify back. Then you now package it. You now fresh from the surface then the the whitish particles that remain you use it to wash in your own house and package the remaining one for sale and this is what i used to put it inside i put it inside this container it's four liters container and i'm selling it one one thousand i've even sold two out of the production i've made earlier before today i sell it out the person needs it urgently, so I couldn't wait. I have to sieve it and then sell it. A stronger container because of what it's used to eat up container if you put it in all these uh, ever water container it will not reach two days 
the chemical will eat up the container and everything will pour away. Some of my chemicals that are conk, if I buy it inside that kind of container, if I didn't use it immediately, the thing will just pour away like that. You can see now, I'll feel it. It will settle down. This one is for my own family use. It will settle down and I'll be fashion small, small from here to use. Then what I will do now is to dry this one. The white particles are remain. I will dry it now. Thanks for watching.